We're in Peterborough, the home of OMC, so you know we're going to run into some snow cruiser owners. OMC, Peterborough. This is the home. Tell us about the home of OMC. We're right in the heart of it. Uh, the, the first factory is where the uh, canoe museum is right now. Uh, I only just two blocks away from where that factory was. And just across the street is where uh, the Corthra Cup was, where you did your little interview many years back in the snow, when the sands were still there. And in 1968, OMC uh, unveiled a, a snowmobile factory, strictly for uh, building Johnson's, Evan Roods, as well as the snow cruisers. And uh, it's not more than two kilometers uh, southeast of us right here, where we are right now in the Morrow Building. I could be wrong on this a little bit, but I believe that they started here in Peterborough maybe in the 1920s, or slightly earlier than that, perhaps. They were into stern engines, uh, the Johnson stern engine drives. Uh, Avonrude Motors came in here, too. Um, and then we had the, the Lawn Boy uh, mowers and so on. Uh, Pioneer chainsaws, they did it all. And in the wintertime, we got snowmobiles for you, too. And Snow Cruiser was the Canadian exclusive model. They were only sold in Canada between 1965 through 71. And, uh, but they still made Evan Rude and Johnson's here in Peterborough and shipped them to the States. And, uh, and then 1972 model season through 76. Uh, the Johnson's and the Evan Roods were now sold in Canada and, and the Snow Cruisers faded away. Well, you know, Kohler engines that were uh, on more of the smartier models Kohler was uh, just down in, in Toronto, so they weren't very far away from us. I think they were in Malton, actually. So, yeah, we're right, right in the heart of it here, Phil. Everybody has a snow cruiser story? Snow crushers, yeah. They all have a snow crusher, and uh, I don't know if uh, you've seen it or not, but there's a little rough-looking 36 over here. In 1971, my father and a group of four other riders were the first ones to ride from Owen Sound to Tobamori, and they made it. Nobody had a breakdown, and they went back down to Owen Sound the following Sunday, and nobody had a breakdown. Everybody made it back, and uh, the people up in Tobamori were so excited to see these snowmobilers come up that uh, they had food and the works all there waiting for them. And uh, the next morning when they went to fire up to, to come back down to Owen Sound, um, a fellow from the Wired Echo drove all the way up in snow to take a picture of these snowmobile. And uh, the picture's on, on the, uh, the dash of the cruiser over there. And uh, yeah, and Dad won a race with that machine too, back in 1970, the Meaford Rally. So, uh, and we brought five of them here today. So, <laughs> we're just happy to be here. I can't say enough. Doug McElwain uh, and, and Joe gave me a call last Christmas. Do you think we can put an OMC display on? And I said, I'd be, I'm more than happy to see if I can help out with this. And uh, this is like Christmas for me today. It's, uh, it's been really, really good so far. We've got some retirees that have popped in the booth here and, uh, and some other people whose parents worked at Outboard Marine back in the 50s and so on. And uh, we've got a picture right up there, a color picture that we took just a couple weeks ago. And that's the, the Tuesday Coffee Club, they call themselves. And they meet at the Evan Rood Building every Tuesday for coffee. And uh, they can't get over that there's people that would be interested in stuff that they built all those years ago. And this is what it's all about, Phil. We're trying to save a little bit of history and uh, educate some people too, if we can. So, yeah.